פסח. What is up everybody? This is Atticus, the death meddler, and for this video, we draw to the very close of this circus of an election. Yes, election day is coming up very soon, and new revelations have been exposed to the American people. And yes, people, all the conspiracy theories were right about this. This election is rigged as fuck. But who is it rigged in favor to, Atticus, the death meddler? Well, you guys were right all along. This election is rigged in favor for Donald J. Literally Hitler Trump. Oh my god, the humanity. No, nah, it's actually Hillary Clinton. Yes, people, it was actually the Democratic Committee, then the Republicans, then Trump that has rigged this election. And the skeletons have been pulled out of the closet. Julian Assange and also the YouTube channel Project Veritas have done excellent and just amazing work into exposing the smoking gun that is voter fraud, election rigging, and even smear campaigning towards Trump. And yeah, Trump is an idiot and he has said a lot of dumb shit, but... The stuff that the Democrats have done this election, it, it, it surpasses everything that Trump has said. You can hate Trump all you want, but Hillary Clinton, the DNC, they have done some very fucking illegal shit going on right now. I mean, absolutely illegal shit. What's really funny is that these people, the um, like when Trump goes around saying that, you know, this election is rigged. Only oh, just dismiss him as right-wing conspiracy theories. Donald Trump's biggest lie is about the election itself, the integrity of the election. He is alleging a massive conspiracy. The system, folks, is rigged. Of course the elections will not be rigged. What does that mean? But when it's like the libtards, the Democrats, Hillary Clinton, that, and Obama that talk about election rigging, oh, they are the sovereigns of infinite wisdom. ...sense of a rigged system. The game is rigged against them. So there's a sense the game is rigged. Yes, this is what a rigged economy is about. A rigged system. They'll do anything to rig the system for most of the time. The game is rigged. And the next thing you know, those same motherfuckers that preach about how election rigging and voter fraud is really bad are the ones doing it themselves! No, absolutely. Absolutely. You know what? We've been busting people in to dig in fucking asshole for 50 years, and we're not gonna stop now. I'm not just angered, shocked, and appalled by this. I'm just amazed on how on how corrupt you motherfuckers can be. I mean, you guys are supposed to be for progress, for tolerance, you know, all this other stuff. But but no, 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 no. You 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 gotta you gotta fucking go Lannister style on this election. You have to go. You you people act like fucking Tywin Lannister type of shit. Do you disapprove? I'm all for cheating. This is war. But to slaughter them at a wedding, explain to me why it is more noble to kill 10,000 men in battle than a dozen at dinner. So that's why you did it? To save lives? To end the war, to protect the family. Do you want to write a song for the dead Starks? Go ahead, write one. These motherfuckers have gone on to actually bring in illegal immigrants and bring in their voters' registrations just to vote for Democrats. We did the exact same thing, only we, we manipulated the vote with money in action, not with laws. They could invalidate... Well, okay, let's just say, in theory, if, an, if a major investigation came up of major vote fraud that way, how would they prove it and who would they charge? Are they going to charge each individual? Oh, sorry. Are they going to charge each individual with voter fraud? See, that's or are they, they going to go after the facilitator for conspiracy, which they could prove? And it's one thing if all these people drive up in their personal cars. There's a bus involved. That changes the dynamic. So, 
It's the legality. Uh, well, yeah. Because you can prove conspiracy if there's a bus. Yeah. If there are cars, it's much harder to prove. And there's enough money. If there's enough money, then you have people drive their POV. Absolutely. Or you have them drive runs. These people have also brought up dead people's names to get on the ballot. These motherfuck like there has been reports in Texas where some people were going to vote, but they discovered that Trump was not on the ballots. And also, CNN, MSNBC, and ABC are cutting down the line. They're cutting down the satellites onto people that are literally talking about, like, Project Veritas and how Hillary Clinton is evil. They are actually pulling a Fox News on these motherfuckers. Thirds or more of the public knows that Hillary Clinton's a liar. She can't be trusted. And now the two faces of Hillary Clinton are coming out. The fact through WikiLeaks that she says one thing uh, and oh no it was Hillary Clinton that she should get an award from them as the founder of ISIS that's what it because of her support in the 1990s for anti-crime legislation that ultimately helped contribute to this era of mass incarceration that she now uh, speaks out uh, again uh -oh. uh, we just lost uh, we just lost Brianna Keeler and the moment where Fox News actually brought out information on Project Veritas and election rigging and voter fraud, you know that hell just froze over. This is coming from a guy that has a humongous disdain towards Fox News. But when Fox News becomes the voice of reason throughout this circus of an election, you know that hell just froze over. All right, I want to turn to our other story at the top of the show, and that is this Project Veritas uh, video uh, behind the scenes. Uh, take a listen. Good news is the candidate would like to have a mascot following around the duck. I mean, following around the candidate, Charlie. But the bad news is she wants it to be Donald Duck. And that's because Squar mm -hmm. is an old Clinton man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he had gone to some buddy is who's one of her body people, mm -hmm. and she had explained the claim that Hillary and Hillary just loved it. These individuals no longer have a relationship with the DNC. They've never had a relationship uh, with the Clinton campaign. This was, again, a, a video that was leaked out for the purpose of damaging the campaign. It is edited, so we don't know what the full context is. This whole election reminds me of a certain movie that Chris Farley and David Spade were in. Oh, and also Gary Buzet. Yes, people, I'm, of course, talking about black Sheep. If there's one thing that black sheep has taught people like me when I was a little kid is that election rigging and voter fraud and even smear campaigning is bad news. I mean, Mike Donnelly, played by Chris Farley and his brother Al Donnelly, were the victims of smear campaigning, voter fraud, and election rigging by the bad guy in the movie, Governor Tracy. We've all been screwed! by Governor Tracy, and now I'm gonna screw her. Nora Savage met his maker in Iwo Jima, 1944. Nelson Savage was killed near the 38th parallel in Korea. However, yesterday, these men managed to cast their vote for Evelyn Tracy. You heard it here, folks, voter fraud. Now, half these people are buried in the Garfield Cemetery. That's one county. It's probably the same all over the state. I mean, hell, watch the movie yourselves. Watch the movie yourselves. It's a funny movie, but it also tells the dangers of election rigging and voter fraud. And when I talk about smear campaigning towards, you know, Chris Farley's character, the DNC has done that to Trump rallies. I mean, we all know how infamous Trump rallies on to your typical stupid, dumbass, biased, now this video which is showing on how evil Trump rallies are. Well, actually, it was um, Hillary's uh, attack dogs, Scott Fovel and Bob Creamer, that have brought out homeless people and people that are mentally unstable to go to Trump rallies and cause a ruckus. Yeah, really great way into taking advantage over mentally ill people and homeless people. Yeah, w really good. Very progressive of you motherfuckers. Yeah, very good for you guys. Planted multiple people in that front area around him and in the back to make sure there wasn't just a action that happened up front. There was also a reaction that happened out back. 
Remember this woman? Her name is Shirley Teeter. She is a 69-year-old sufferer of COPD. According to numerous news stories at the time, she was assaulted at a Trump rally in North Carolina by Trump supporter Richard Campbell. The media played her story across the country for days. She was one of our activists. She was one of your activists who, who, had, been to, who had been trained up to bird dogs. Yes. So the term bird dogging, you put people in the line mm -hmm. at the front, which means they have to get there at 6 o'clock in the morning mm -hmm. so they're getting the front mm -hmm. of the rally so that when Trump comes down the rope line, they're the ones asking him the question in front of the reporters mm -hmm. because they're pre-placed there. To funnel that kind of operation, you have to start back with people two weeks ahead of time and train them how to ask questions. Right. You have to train them to bird dog. No, I'm saying, we have mentally ill people mm. that we pay to do shit. Make no mistake. Over the last 20 years, I have paid off a few homeless guys to do some crazy stuff. And I've also taken them for dinner and I've also made uh -huh. sure they had a hotel and a, and a shower and I've put them in a program. Mm -hmm. Like, I've done that. But the, the reality is a lot of, in, especially in, in, are you union guys? A lot of pre union guys, they'll do whatever oh, yeah. you want. Yeah. They're rock and roll. So the Chicago protest, when they shut all that, that was us. Conflict engagement in, in the lines at Trump rallies. We need to start this shit right away. We have mentally ill people mm. that we pay to do shit. Make no mistake. The whole point okay. of it is we know that Trump's people will, will freak the fuck out. The security team will freak out, and his supporters will lose their shit. Fovel and his people train the agitators to go to Trump rallies. Which means we have to have a central kind of agitator training. Yep. We are contracted directly with the DNC and the campaign. What we don't need is for it to show up on CNN that the DNC paid for X people to... That's not going to happen. Ultimately, the whole endeavor is to get negative press of Trump and his supporters in local and national media. I understand that a lot of you people hate Trump, but you have to understand at what's at stake here. If Hillary wins, there's going to be some shit. There's going to be some actual shit going on. Russia has pulled out Russian citizens from America to go back to Russia. They are bringing out the big bombs if Hillary is elected. Hillary Clinton has stated she will go to war with Russia. She has stated that very fucking clear. And we don't want that to happen. I mean, come on, people. I mean, Trump wanted to make peace with Russia, a nuclear power. I mean, I would rather have peace with Russia than go to war with Russia. I'm just saying it right now. What am I asking you people? I am asking you to share this information right now. I am asking you people to share this information, please. And if you think about making your own video on how, ex on how fucking corrupt the DNC is with voter fraud and election rigging, I highly encourage you to do so. There is so much at stake here. It's not just, you know, both sides are evil. This is just a matter of just life and death right now. This is a matter of if we have an America right now. I know that both candidates are very unpopular, but you got to share this information. Share the information from Project Veritas as well, because they have shown the whole levels of corruption that a lot of people have been talking about right now. A lot is at stake right now. I'm just saying. As from the quote from Edmund Burke, the only necessary thing for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. The Democratic Party, the establishment, is basically doing a lot of shit to bring out one of the most corrupt politicians in American history. I've already made my video on why I dislike Hillary. And you can watch it in the description below. You be the judge of that. But I'm just saying here, a lot is at stake right now. So please, share this video. And make your own video on how this election is rigged in favor for the Democrats. So, there is that. 
Without further ado, ladies and gents, I am Atticus of Death Meddler. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Links are in the description below. Keep it metal. Have a wonderful day.